Hi students, today we are going to be discussing the word when and notice that it begins with a diagraph, a diagraph that we studied early on in the semester and remember what I said about the diagraph when WH are together in a word? Well the W takes the spotlight from the H so you don't hear the H, the H is in the background, it's there but you can't hear the H. <laughs> So pretend the H isn't there and we get what in, what in, in which is how we pronounce when. Even though that H is there, we don't hear it in the word when. But in the video that you guys watched about Jack Hartman, it tells when is something going to happen, the date, the time, whenever. And then right here it says when tells us when a thing will happen. So if you look, um, there are one, two, three, four passages that I want you guys to um, respond to. Um, so in this little scenario, when Tom gets a job, Tom will get cash. Ooh, and SH is another diagraph that we studied. Sh, ka, ash, cash. When will Tom get cash? So I want us to write a full sentence, but I'll um, go over the first one of you guys. When Tom gets a job, Tom will get cash. When will Tom get cash? So according to this, when will Tom get cash? When will he? Well, if we read in the first sentence, when Tom gets a job, that's when he will get cash. So we would write, and what do we need to start out with when we're writing a sentence? with an uppercase letter. When Tom gets a, and I write very big, so I understand if you guys wanna do this activity on a different piece of paper, because if you write big, I totally get that, because I just ran out of room. When Tom gets a, I'm going to put it down here, job. And then I'm going to end my statement with a period. Because it's not nothing exciting, so we wouldn't use an exclamation mark. And it's not a question because it says it right here when Tom, um, when will Tom get cash when Tom gets a job. So I started my sentence with an uppercase letter right here. When Tom gets a job and again I totally understand if you guys want to write it on a different sheet of paper because yeah the line is very um short and then I want you to go through the rest of these scenarios the cat will rest when it gets in the bed when will the cat rest so according to the above statement, when will the cat rest? So I want you to say when the cat dot, 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 and in your um, sentence with a period like I did in this example. So we start with an uppercase and end with a period. And then this scenario down here, the cup, the cup did drip when Al had a sip. When did the cup drop. So when did the cup drop according to the above statement? And then lastly down here, the cat had lunch when Bob fed it. When did the cat get lunch? So according to the above statement, when did the cat get lunch? So I want you guys, instead of writing one um, word sentences, I want you guys to write, I want you guys to practice writing a full complete sentences starting with a capitalized letter and then in your statement with a period like what I did. In the first example, and again, if you guys want to write it on a piece of paper at home, like a notebook paper, and take a photo of it and send it to me, I'm perfectly fine with that. If you guys want to print it out and write on the back, yeah, totally. I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> but if you guys have any questions about when on this worksheet or any other questions, feel free to um, reach out to me and ask. Thanks.